yo, yo, what up, what up? In this episode, I'm going to be talking about that new block. That big block mined on BTC Core 4 megabytes. And I'm going to tell you, I think it's just another desperate attempt for people to, uh, to try to beg people to come and use this lightning network that nobody wants to use, nobody cares to use, and nobody thinks is worth even... Worth the fuck. So guys, I'm playing Doom. You guys can, uh, this was put on the blockchain on BTC Core, surprisingly, uh, today. I'm gonna go and get out of this to, uh, so I don't get too distracted here. But, um, yeah, I mean, these, these Bitcoin, these Bitcoin Lightning Network maxis, and, um, they're, they're just getting really desperate. They're like, it, this is like pure desperation and like begging people to like, like join their cult religion of a Bitcoin maximalist. This is this is really truly truly utterly uh, disgusting. What's happened today? And uh, I'm gonna dive right into it, guys. So today, 3.96 megabyte block was mined by Luxor Mining Pool out of California. Um, Nick something. I don't know his name. The CEO. He looks like he sounds like a maxi. I'm sure, Taproot Wizards is his company as well. Um, and this is just utterly, utterly, pathetically. Uh, there's just no word for it. Like they're begging people. Like the Lightning Network is trying every possible way to come in here and rebrand Bitcoin, even using the first JPEG ever put on the blockchain. Here's the actual original one right here. This is Bitcoin at the top. I don't think it was our Bitcoin. Uh, I think this came later. Uh, I think this is the original one, but correct me if I'm wrong. doesn't really matter. Uh, or maybe it does matter because this is just... Um, this is just absolutely pathetic. Uh, I'm gonna tell you why. So um, this is a good article here. I'll put this in here as well. Just to give you guys an idea of what I'm, where I'm going with this, the reason this video, um, I think this is just another desperate attempt by Lightning Network, Lightning Labs, um, this whole Bitcoin Maxi community, whether it's miners, node operators, whoever, trying to get you, almost, almost forcing you and begging you at the same time to, to use Lightning Network. Um, and it's absolutely sickening. So um, the original artist of Bitcoin Wizards meme just stacked uh, basically about you know six Bitcoin BTC cores due to this this reposting of this uh, this uh, basic basically advertisement here. This is just an advertisement, and uh, they're either poking fun at the fact that magic internet jpegs reverts back to magic the original one of magic internet money like they're kind of saying like oh we can do what bitcoin was supposed to do in the first place which kind of kind of sounds kind of weird to think about so it's a little a little little strange i know jpegs are a controversial topic here but i think it's pretty cool that the artist just added so much value to bitcoin culture just turned 150,000 worth of bitcoin for his work i mean Whatever. And the fact that it much happened via Lightning Network is a big nod to the power of Lightning Network payment for funding, fundraising the relatively large scale. I don't have any hot takes about JPEGs or Bitcoin or pros and cons in the description. Just found the story I wouldn't or share more broadly. But again, guys, like I want to I want to I want to state some facts here. So just because a miner decided to mine this block today, we've been mining bigger blocks on on Bitcoin Cash, maybe not so much recently because the network hasn't been like very much going on but that's just overall in crypto but we've been able to secure these these blocks on bitcoin cash much larger and even way incredibly larger and you can be you can say it's garbage putting you know a garbage on the internet but if you want to put doom on the internet like they did on bitcoin Core recently uh, all these things can be done on chain and everybody can everybody can see all the transactions and you might not you might say oh well uh, maybe I don't want somebody to see my transaction. Well, that's why you come up with things like Cash Fusion and some of these privacy things that are built on top that give you the added privacy if you want. Now, I'm going to tell you what this Lightning Network has done. They are this layer two. Think of them as a payment processor. Because in the future, if Lightning Network does catch on, which I'm going to try my best that it make sure that it does not and i think there's probably hundreds and thousands of people out there that will catch on to this being a total scam and they will be you know right there with me holding up the uh holding up the uh holding up the sign saying hey no 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 this isn't what this is whether it's on the internet whatever we got to do we're gonna get the job done so 
Um, this lightning network, think of these lightning network in the future. They are not going to be, you're not going to open up with a payment channel with an individual. That's going to be very, that's going to be very unlikely. The payment channels are going to come from large corporations. They're going to be third party payment channels that are going to open up that are going to, uh, they're going to be all around the world. Uh, and that can be a very political geopolitical problem, uh, to say the least, because if, 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 if both parties, the, the sender and the receiver go offline, the money actually gets reverted back to the, the third party, uh, person who opened up the payment channel on the receiver and sender's behalf. So this is a big problem um, just among lightning network in general is that it's not secure. It, there's, it's not, it, 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 it itself is not scalable. Bitcoin Lightning Network in itself is not scalable, period. It doesn't work. So um, I, I, I recommend you guys read up on it and, and kind of learn about it. If you don't know what Bitcoin Lightning Network is, it's very strange uh, how it is intended to work. And the only reason that it's intended to work so strangely is because it's the only way that devs could create this illusion of what Bitcoin should be because you can't go to B BTC core and fuck with it any other way than they've already done. So the more that they try to um, essentially fuck with the fundamental elements that Bitcoin is, the more likely these layer two protocols, layer two whatever, are going to fail. And Charlie Lee has talked about this. Roger Veer has talked about this. There's been other people you can look up on the internet. There's a, a guy named Bitcoin Sophia. I recommend talk. He talks about this. He hasn't made any videos in quite a while, but he has some interesting things to say about Lightning Network. Uh, Joshua Hensley on the Bitcoin SB uh, side of things has got some really good arguments on on how Lightning Network is just total garbage. So think of Lightning Network as the PayPal for Bitcoin. Does that make any real sense to have somebody to, to let you use Bitcoin? Okay, does this make sense? Does it make any sense to have somebody like PayPal? I'm just using the example as PayPal. I'm not, I'm just using them as a strict example. Does it make any sense to let somebody like PayPal let you spend and use money that you've loaned to PayPal? And I know that sounds really fucking weird, but at the root core, that's what this whole Lightning Network is because it, it is very hard for me to imagine that we're gonna be opening up payment channels uh, with every single person we have a transaction with and then how reliable is that payment channel on this, the, the, um, the, the, uh, the other side? How, 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 how reliable is that payment channel that I'm opening with on the other side? How can I trust that payment channel on the other side? Uh, does this, does, do I need to have absolute trust with everybody I, uh, use my cryptocurrency with? So, you know, I hope that opened Pandora's box a little bit. I hope that opened up kind of my thoughts on lightning network and how this, uh, this four megabyte block is really just, they're just stirring up the shit here. And at the same time, they're stirring up the shit. They're reminding everybody that lightning network is, is in Bitcoin maximalism is here to stay. And they are absolutely begging, begging people. I mean, they're like, please, please use Lightning Network. We'll give you a free NFT. Uh, like literally, like that's what they're doing. Like we'll give you this free NFT if you open up a Lightning Network wallet. Like it's so fucking pathetic. Um, and, and like, like they might as well just give people free Lightning BTC core borrowed money. I mean, I don't, I don't know how else to say it. It's a bunch of garbage. Uh, don't think, don't read into any of this stuff too much, guys, even what I'm saying. But uh, this whole uh, return to the original uh, JPEG image of magic internet money has now became uh, magic internet lightning network borrowed third party processing. Uh, please use lightning network money. <laughs> so I uh, hope that resonates with somebody out there. Um, I ho hope I'm not the only one thinking these things, but, um, I'll put all this stuff in the, in the, in the description box, the, the biggest block, Bitcoin 3.96 megabyte block. And they've done like terabyte blocks on Bitcoin SV, I think recently, like within like the last year, uh, Bitcoin cash is mine blocks significantly higher as well. So this is just, um, absolutely hilarious between what's going on with Binance 
and then the United States uh, SEC, the Department of Justice, uh, and all these people going after Binance, and this new Lightning Network uh, propaganda censorship recent push that happened today is just probably the funniest things going on in crypto. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the episode. Try to make another episode going into the weekend here. If you ever, um, if, you ever if everything I ever says sounds like total garbage, man, put it in the uh, put it in the comments section. I'm here to here to uh, here to learn too. So. Have a great day, night, wherever you're out in the world, and we'll catch you on the next video.